you have in mind? Like bats, giant spiders, creepy eyes, and Halloween pillows. Ooh, you're in luck. I know how to make those already. Come on, let's go. Okay. Our first artwork will be a bat. You need a cardboard box and your left hand. Okay. We are just going to use our hand as our guide to make our bat's body. Then we draw two big ears. Next, for the wings, we make a slanted line and then a horizontal line. We then connect this to the body. Next, we're going to make this bat 3D by folding this black sheet of paper in an accordion style. Yep. This one sheet of black paper will be good enough for one side of its wing. Yes, so we need to make two of these. Add some glue to stick it together. To make it look like bat wings, we need to cut a curved shape at the tip. After making the wings, Let's paint our bath first before gluing the wings on our bat. You may draw your bat's eyes or use googly eyes. I'm adding some details on my bat's ears and some fangs. Next, I'm going to glue the wings on my bat. There, looks perfect. I think it will make any room spooky enough for Halloween! Our next activity is a Halloween throw pillowcase. You need black pillowcase like this one, holographic PVC plastic, some chalk to mark your jack-o'-lantern face, and fiber fill from any pillow that you would like to recycle. <laughs> Let's start! I oh. want to draw! Sure! To draw a spooky jack-o'-lantern, we start with the triangular shaped eyes and a small semicircle at the base for its eyeball. For the nose, it's just a slightly smaller triangle. For the mouth, you want to make it nice and big. And don't forget to add a few teeth. Great job, Bug! Look at this! Now I'm going to cut off the jack-o'-lantern's face that Bug drew. Okay, once you've cut out the jack-o'-lantern's face, we will turn this pillow cover inside out. Yep. Okay, let's... Okay. There. There you go. Now we take our holographic PVC material and we will stick it using hot glue. You can also use cellophane. Orange cellophane would work as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kids, if you are doing this at home, please ask an adult to help. Once 
Once I'm done covering the holes with PVC plastic, I will turn this right side out and Bud can help me fill up the pillow with pillow stuffing. Yay! Wow, it's so nice. Yeah, it does. It looks so nice. Look at all the spooky potential. It's so pretty. And all this is done in under five minutes. I think this is enough. Oh my stars! It looks so unique! And to make this even spookier, we're gonna add lead lights! Let's mm -hmm. open the zipper again and let Auntie help you. Then I'll add one here. I'm in my room and we switched off all the lights. Check out my DIY jack o' lanterns that we made. They look so nice and spooky. Nice and spooky indeed. But we're missing something. Giant spiders! Since I'm not very good at drawing giant spiders, but we'll be the one to draw out our giant spider for our Halloween decoration. So, I got a circular item just to trace it. This will be the body and a smaller circle on top for my spider's face. Then I'll add fangs. And lastly, eight spidey legs. Let's put two more on top. Ta-da! To make it nice and 3D, we need Japanese paper in Halloween colors. Mm -hmm. First, let us arrange it in alternate colors. First layer is our purple, purple then our orange, orange then and purple. then purple, and then orange. Yeah, it's like orange. Now, just like we did with the bat, we're going to fold it accordion style. We use 8 pieces of purple and 8 pieces of orange Japanese paper, by the way. Now, let's fold it in half. Okay. I'll tie the middle. Mm -hmm with a yarn. But this looks like it's too long. We're gonna have to put it here and figure out what the length should be. Let's trim out the excess length using a curved design so that we have a pattern that is attractive. On, this, on our spiders. There we go. Now let's check. Yes, it's just the right size. Now let's fluff it up by unfolding the sheets of Japanese paper. Even if you tear some pieces of paper, don't worry about it. It will still look nice in the end. I'm sure. Wow, it looks so nice. It looks like a flower. Now we glue this on our spider. Spiders are creepy, so we're adding a lot of eyes. Spider. She turned out really cute and spooky. We've named her Selma. I've added curtain hooks at the back. Please help me hang it on our spider web. Sure. Uh, wow. wow! Oh my gosh, my room looks so much better now. I hope you guys are inspired to create your own Halloween decorations. Bye! Thank you guys for watching. Bye!